Bathing and rinsing horses is a common practice for individuals that exercise, show, and sell horses. However, the wastewater generated from washing a horse contains pathogens, bacteria, detergents, pesticides, as well as the urine and manure and other suspended solids which have the potential to pollute surface and groundwaters. Typically, hard surfaces are very slippery and difficult for horse hooves to gain traction, especially when the horses are shod with slick shoes. The surface becomes even more slippery when you add water during bathing. The chemistry behind the soap adds additional loss of traction and adds more hazards to both the handlers and the horse. So a horse bathing area must be constructed to help contain water and possible contaminants and provide for the safety of the horse and handler. What's it like to bathe a horse on asphalt? We've had horses all our lives and we've shown a long time. And uh, so wash racks and, and paved areas in general, uh, you know, you have to be very careful with them. You can't hardly ride on them. You know, you need to get off and lead because you're scared your horse will jump and slip and that kind of stuff. So Because if you're standing out here, if it rains like it rained last night, you come out here this morning, slip all over the place. Manure makes it slick, urine makes it slick, water makes it slick, soap makes it slick, water makes it slick. Anything you can get by without having to get slick, you got to make. A recent innovation that increases horse pad safety and reduces runoff issues is called pervious concrete. Pervious concrete contains the same ingredients as regular concrete, but the amount of sand is reduced or omitted, and the amount of water that's used is reduced in a pervious concrete mix. A properly mixed batch of pervious concrete creates an aggregate that barely wets the hand instead of forming the thick paste-like consistency of traditional concrete. The reduced amount of sand produces a concrete pad that contains more voids. This, in turn, allows much more water to flow through the pad. Pervious concrete also provides more traction than most concrete finishes. This kind of surface requires more skill and knowledge to install than does typical concrete. The construction process begins by creating a substrate depth of about one foot. This is then lined with geotextile fabric and filled with number two sized rock. This provides a matrix capable of storing large amounts of water that slowly discharges. The pervious concrete horse pad can be built with a mild slope or no slope at all because the slope is not needed to remove the water. Pervious concrete is then placed over the substrate and compacted using a roller to add additional strength. For a horse pad, the dry concrete is not excessively compacted to ensure good porosity. A biodegradable bean or vegetable oil is used during the finishing process, which allows the concrete to stay moist and cure properly. Plastic is then placed over the concrete to help retain moisture and to continue the hydration process. This goes on for one to two weeks, depending on the weather conditions. The curing process will continue for another 28 days. Reinforcement in the form of steel rods is not required with pervious concrete. However, fiberglass fibers can be added to the mix and has been shown to increase strength and improve porosity. It's important to power wash the pad on a regular basis. This reduces clogging of the pores in the concrete. Wash water that goes through the pad can be discharged through a vegetative filter strip or other treatment system. Once properly installed, a pervious concrete pad for horse handling reduces splashing or puddled water and provides a safer, less slippery surface for horse and handlers. It can also help improve water quality because the larger pores in the pervious concrete provide a home for beneficial bacteria that are capable of killing harmful pathogens found in animal waste. The thick substrate layer also reduces the chance of material freezing and breaking. Pervious concrete also allows for better heat transfer from the underlying soil. And the snow should melt quicker than on a traditional concrete pad. And what do horse owners think of this new concrete alternative? I think from a water quality standpoint, it's good to have it drain away rather than sitting on top with horse manure and who knows what else floating around. Uh, from a health fire uh, standpoint, 
not having the standing pooled water and manure would be better because where we are, West Nile is a big concern. Yeah, I, I was noticing it and, and it's a little unusual. I haven't seen one like this. It, I like the texture because it's not slippery. And it doesn't splash, it's not, it's not splashing up like, like a lot of the pads do. Future research on this type of concrete will look at ways to prevent pervious concrete from becoming clogged with debris and evaluate microbial activity and resistance coefficients. Persons interested in this product can contact the Kentucky Ready Mix Concrete Association or the UK College of Agriculture for a fact sheet on this topic.